Well, hello, Shelly Rocks here. Quick little look at the demo today. This is a uh, game called Bulwark, and it is pretty, yeah, uh, it's pretty special. I'm going to claim the progress. Just show you it from fresh, because it is cool. Um, I believe it's by a single developer, and they've also worked on, let me just show you. Yeah, so it's a single developer, Thomas Salah, and he's also worked on the Falcon Ear, which I believe I played a demo for that. So this is, it's not out yet. It's coming out soon. So this is like, I don't know if this is like a spin-off of the, the whole, um, the, the sort of feel of the, of the game, because it's like a apocalyptic game. It's like very steampunky, really wrecked world, flying around, cold, wastes there's all like crash chips and stuff and it's really cool so anyway let's jump back into the game so we're gonna go to campaign this is the campaign mode and jump on right in so the developer was just saying them it's, it's like an ever-evolving uh demo this and this, it's a really interesting demo though because it's all the stuff in the game it seems we found okay. our new home oh we need a place for our people to rebuild yeah we do need Find we do need somewhere to build spot in the shallows we need stone, and we need stone, and we need wood. Now, wood is from these, like, mushroomy things. Um, but I first of all need to build a tower. Um, right, let's try and build on top of this little peak here. So, this is a, it's a, it's a cool little world there. I'm going to place my tower down first for show you a little bit of the area. So, I'm flying around in this little, like, steampunky ship. I basically move my curse around and where it lands is the sort of way that we interact with stuff. So I want to build on top of this little peak here. So if I right click, I'm going to build a cool little tower here, a little outpost. And this is where the people come from. Okay, so we need, we need wood. Right, wood is basically these giant mushrooms and... In order to build on these, there's an area around the resource like like that. And if I right click and dump this, I will build a uh, mine. Apparently, it's better if you build in the water. It says you get more resources. So let's see. Okay, so that's wood. Right, so once you've pl plonked it down like that, I need to link that up with the main base. So. We now have a wood mill that will power We have to build and connect to this. Connect it to our outpost. We should have enough wood to build towers and walkways between okay. So b before I get too engrossed in the demo, uh, really interesting um, way of doing this demo. Uh, the way the developers done this is that you get the full sort of flavor of the game, but you've got a limit of how many things you can build. So top right, you can only build 50 and you can't save, but you get all the resources, all the, all the things you can build. And uh, yeah, so I thought that was a pretty cool way of doing it. Anyway, I need to build from there to there. So I can left, I can left click and, and switch to the next bit to where they are needed, like that. And, bring in and when you hover over something, it shows you the input buttons. So you know you're doing the right thing. So if I hover like there, that's wrong. If I, if I do it like this, it shows you the little pathway. So if I right click, Hopefully that should work. We have our first resource. But there are more. Time to find a suitable quarry for rock. Right. And I want to show you this now. So walkways. it's a really cool and way it builds it though. Look, all these little walkways going up the uh, the mountain. Now if I press tab, you see it said plus four. So it's actually showing you that I'm getting, you know, the resources from from one and going to the other. Right. Anyway, we need to go and find some stone now so if i switch back to my Come flying ship to look for we're looking for like rocks on the floor now what i didn't i sort of mentioned it and didn't mention it if you hover over an, a resource it shows you the icons so that's a saw which means there's a, a wood thing there whereas this shows you like bricks which is stone so if i right click on this and go yoink that is going to build me a little stone collection point. See it better like this. Make sure it's right. and you will be able so we've got to connect that to that. And to stone and 
So that's the nearest thing. So we could, like, build over there. Time, but it's not really, not really near enough. Nearby. We can build in the water, I believe. I'm going to see if we can get onto this little cheeky bit of rock here. Let's see. Let's do the angle. Let's see if we can build onto that rock. There you go. So we've got a little walkway all across the water there, look. I would not want to be carrying rocks across that. Right, now we need to link up with over here. So if I change the angle again, zoom out a little bit. So we want to go from there to there. So you can see it's blue at both ends. Nice. That is the maddest, <laughs> that's the maddest route going up there. Any walkways built from it will also be stone walkways now. Ooh. Okay. Let's uh, press tab again. We should start seeing the resources flowing now. So you can see the brown flowing down because that's the 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 stone flowing. Well, not the brown's the wood, the blue's the stone. So you can see we've got like a proper little production line and stuff going now. Now, if I build that up here, I think it's only plus four. As you can see, that's plus six now. But you can see all my uh, all my stuff flowing nicely now. Right, so we want to build. Upgrade a tower to stone. So, um, let's choose a tower. Let's choose this one. Okay, so you need to click on the base of it. Right click. That's made it into stone. Nice. Just off the coast in several places. A mine there will be most Okay, yeah. So we've got stone. We've got wood. We now need to get metal. So metal's like a yellow, yellow thing. It looks like sulfur. So it's a mine. Right. Hopefully I'm gonna find the bit that's cool. There's a, I found a cool I found a couple of little cool bits. So there's the mine there. I'm not gonna build that just yet because I wanna go for a little explore. Now if you ever get lost when you're flying around, if you press tab, you can just sort of see it in the distance. Okay, now what is that? <laughs> what is that, first of all? What is that big red shardy shardy death thing? That's got to be something, hasn't it? Ooh, ooh, ooh! I found an even cooler thing! I've not found this before! Oh, wow, look at this! There's all, like, crashed chips, and they've all got, like, rust on them. So I don't know what's happened. Look, they're everywhere. Look, there's one over here as well. Oh, that is cool. Anyway, there is actually metal here. I might, I'm tempted to build. Because I'm only, I'm only showing you the game. I'm not setting up the perfect base. Shirley Rocks, how to set up the perfect base. We're not. We're just, we're just, we're just trying to have a little bit of fun. So I need to find um, a mine again. See, look, here's a stone mine. So you've got multiple choices of where you actually build. I don't think there's any wood on that island, though, so I wouldn't really fancy building on that one. Right, let's use my patented where, where's my base gone routine. Um, Because I'm not saying I'm lost. Okay, I'm lost. I think it was back this way. It must be because I'm, I'm too far away to see the stuff. Oh, wait a minute. Look, the, uh, <laughs> the developer already knows I'm a noob and I get lost. The golden arrow in your compass will point back to your outpost. So completely ignore all my things about pressing uh, tab. Yeah, just, just follow the golden compass and it will reveal your outpost. Right, so we're, go we're going back home. There's definitely signs of structures and stuff. Right, let's go over here. See, there is a mine here. Can we build on this? Your surveyor can build yes. a mine on this spot. We're Work building a mine. mine for all. The metallurgical industry build a mine build next a to a big volcano. Mine will allow our most advanced towers and buildings. Okay, so you can see I've built a mine. Nice sinking boreholes. Right, we now need to build a um a harbour. Now, I think you can only build a harbour in the blue bits. So, if you hover over it and see an anchor, you're golden. So, let's right-click. And you can see that's linked it up. Now, 
Captains. So there's numerous captains. I start off with three. These three captains can only do certain skills. So this one can only carry carry ore and people. This one can carry uh, stone, and this one can carry wood. So I want this one, first one. So we'll sign you. Farmers Click off that. Always need to be built as pairs. As and I've got to build. build two, a trade route I've got to build a, an end Shift to me a uh, trade route now. So I need to find my way back to my base and build a another dock. Okay, I can see my stuff here. Look. See the golden compass there? Pointing this way. See that? That would have been a much better mine. Look, <laughs> look how near that one is. Now, let's build it miles away. Right, anyway, we're going to put this down here now. We're going to do a little uh, thing. Now, if you notice the line, so that's where the trade route's going to come from. Let's see if I can place it a little bit. There you go. So that's where the trade is going to come from. And I'm going to place it there. So we've got a little dock the there. Resources now at our disposal. You should be able to focus on building up command towers. They can be upgraded with okay. additional. So he wants me to build a command well tower now. Many foundations and balconies. Yes, we're going to press space, and I'm going to switch to a different unit. I want to build a command tower. Okay, now I've already got resources coming along, so I think I might. Mm, shall I just upgrade one of these existing ones? This building cannot be upgraded. Okay, you can't upgrade that one. But our settlers can improve its outlook. What about the main one? The okay, let's make this into a command tower. All the major resources now at our disposal. Keep upgrading it. You should be able to focus Ooh, on building look up at that. command towers. They Is that a command tower? That's got to be a command tower, look. As well as many foundations and balconies. Okay, do we keep upgrading it? Surely that's that's the amount. I can't upgrade that anymore. Right. Let's try and do a different one. There we go. That's a command tower. That. There you go. Okay, build foundations and... Ooh, build floors and foundations. Use Q and E to move between floors. Okay, so let's right click and add another floor. To your tower, to attract more <laughs> to a okay, let's. How, how big can we make it? Oh, that's pretty cool. Right, build a foundation. So what you do on this is, you move the you move it out a little bit, and you should start seeing a square or a triangle. So a triangle there. If I build it like here, right click. This ends the tutorial. How cool is that? Building and exploring. Set up colonies and unlock new buildings, hire captains, and even commanders to spawn units. I'm creating more advanced world content, but for now, there are a few people to meet, and some of them are friendly, some of them are not. Yes. Thank you for playing. Hey, cheers for that, Thomas. So, I don't know if it's Thomas or Tomas, but this game's got scope. Um, like he said about the... Oh, here's, me, uh, here's the iron coming in, look. Yeah, so this game's got scope. We could have uh, a Kraken. We could have people coming to attack you. We've got mystery stuff here. Look, look at this. What the heck is this? What is that? Okay, a librarian. A commander. Okay. What on earth? Is he, fly <laughs> is he flying a dragon? It's like Game of Thrones. But there's loads of random stuff to, to find. Um, I found a I found a ship sailing round, and the ship had a captain, and it was a cutter, which is a ship class. And he said he would join me if I wanted. Uh, I'm just looking for question marks on the horizon. I, can, I think I can see one over here. This might be where me um me iron mine is. Okay, what is that? What is that? I don't know what that is, but yeah. But I think this game is also by a solo developer as well, so it just blows me mind. It's just, it's it's so good. Anyway, this is just a quick, a quick little look at it. I'm not explored any more of this game, but hopefully that is enough for you to uh, have a little look at it. And look, 
And just when I'm saying I'm about to end the video, we've only gone and found Waterworld with Kevin Costner. What is that? Refugees. Accept. Outpost to salvage and relocate. So I could accept them, I reckon. Um, maybe build a dock there. And then assign a captain to it. It'll, it'll take people. Now, would he then take the people? Okay, this isn't the best. Okay, I obviously do not understand that at all. But anyway, this is it. How cool is that? So, this is Bulwark. And, uh, yeah, that is pretty nice. Let me know what you think of that in the comments. I think that looks as though it's got some proper good potential of, um, you know, storms, weather progression, um, Kraken sea monsters, trading with other, you know, other um, towns, warring with other towns. Maybe there's going to be submarines and stuff and other units. But, yeah, utterly cool. Very, very good. So, so glad I went and watched Splattercat Gaming and saw this because that is a cool game. Anyway, let me know what you think of it in the comments. If you still managed to end this video, don't forget to drop me a sub if you don't mind. Do me an enormous favour and also leave a like and a comment on the video. It all helps with YouTube algorithms apparently. So thank you and I'll see you next time.